Devon! Hey, William! What do you remember beyond the songs, beyond the artist? Let me tell you something. It's called the staging, the visual presentation. Uh, <laughs> that, you need to slay the visuals so we turn to most memorable staging at Eurovision 2019. Shall we talk about it? Let's, Let's do that! Award because it's the Vision Music Award. Hey man, you gotta see it to believe it. <laughs> and the winner of the Vision Music Award 2019 is Zero. She no Zero. <laughs> she is Australia's Kate Miller. Hi Kate. So deserved. Oh, gee, I, she won this in a landslide, more than 52% of the I time. won't even argue this, because this is a song that didn't really grip me until the visuals came together. I'm gonna borrow one of my cat toys for this. Outer space, woo! Do you see the little spaceman? This was intergalactic slayage. Never at Eurovision have we seen something like this. Yes, we've seen many starscapes, but never a starscape this real, mm. this impactful, and we've literally never had a woman on a sway pole with two other women on sway poles doing essentially Cirque du Soleil to music. Mm. I could watch that over and over again, and in fact, I have watched it over and over again. She won her semi-final, really deserving. She came top 10, keeping that streak alive. At one point in Israel, we were saying, my God, Australia could take this home. Absolutely. And if they did, what, who would host it on their behalf? Yeah. People were saying it was France, people were saying yeah. the UK, Germany. We would not have argued, I'm sorry. It was just amazing. This is the one I've watched the most since Eurovision, because I love seeing that spectacle. Funny enough, when Netflix made the announcement that it would be streaming the Eurovision Song Contest in the United States. It was United that States, clip that was borrowed, wasn't they it? They used this visual. Because it's just so inspiring. In any case, second place in our poll, Devin. Hatari's Iceland. Yes. Or Iceland's Hatari. From Queen of Light in Australia to the Prince of Darkness. Oh, wow, wow. And again, another visual spectacle. Again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't disagree with this no. number two spot. Visual feast. Visual Absolutely. feast. Absolutely. Absolutely. Performed like a beast. Grenade on stage, just, well, on, or on earth, however you look at it, just fantastic. Is it a narrow runner-up, or is it a wide Um, one? You know, they got 26% of the vote, so it's a huge margin. Okay. But then again, there's a huge margin between second and third. In third place was Spain's Mickey. I would substitute that for Chingiz Mustafayev yes. from Azerbaijan. I think that was a super memorable station. Is that in our top five? No. That puzzles me. Yeah, it looks like Azerbaijan wasn't shortlisted, which I think that's an oversight, actually, because... That was amazing staging. Yeah, his staging is much more memorable. Mickey's staging was... That was the weak part of the thing. Yeah, absolutely. I think the staging is what let it down, because it had a great running order, great energy, fabulous song, but Paco... Go. Go. Alright, next up. Oh, this is this yeah, this is an interesting um Sergei Lazarev screen. Yeah. It, it we always thing. knew that Russia was gonna high play, tech. Yeah, that we're gonna go. And do you know what? That those kind of raindrops and steam it windows was good. It was good. And the the multiplicity of Sergei Lazarev's images on point, because I couldn't even tell at one point. Which is the real Sergey? Which is the visual? Yeah. Sergey? I think that really was the point. Different states of mind, internal confusion. Who am I? What vision of myself do I want to embrace? It was very deep. Did you scream? Oh, I screamed, oh. and I clapped as well. Amazing. And then rounding out our top. Oh, it's one of your favorites. Oh yeah, Greece's Katerine Duska. This was memorable. It Absolutely. was kooky. Oh, it was a celebration of women. Yeah. Uh, my, my, uh, you know, you can't hate on that. They were literally slaying. She had fences. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolute slaying. Love that. And she was kind of this Victorian Edwardian diva. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But in control. In control. In front of a massive egg. Oh, she's on it point. Was good. She's on point. Good. In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Which Eurovision 2019 act had the best staging to you? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. Yes! Scribble away in the comment section below. Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, Tumblr, Pinterest, Facebook. We're on all those platforms, so check us out. We'll see you later. Bye!